YouTube, welcome back to WTF RC Cars. Right, we've got something a bit different for you today. So, since so we're all on lockdown, thought I'd do a bit of a tutorial on how we get the Noble MB4 working with the RC Pro. So, let's see if we can uh, make the screen a bit bigger for you. Now, it's going to be a bit iffy because it's a webcam recording the actual uh, footage, so. But basically, what I've done, um, what I find makes it easier on mine anyway, uh, if you set a model memory up, so set yourself one foot PC, and then just have everything zeroed out. So all your servos, all your exponential, everything, just have it all set on zero. Then you want to go into system, sounds, turn your alarm sound off, vibration, turn your vibration off, and then come back out there, and you want to go all the way down to USB functionality, have it set on Noble Emulator. Once you've got that set, you can come back to uh, your normal screen. Then you want to get a standard USB cable, USB micro USB B, and then connect that into the bottom of your controller, just as you would when you're charging. Let's jump back to PC now. So I'll just minimize that down, and if you go to your start menu, uh, let's go for normal control panel, device and print as you want next, and then you'll see it detected as a Noble MB4. Once you've got that detected, you can go to game controller settings. Uh, if you go on advanced, you can choose which is your preferred one. If you've got other controllers, you'll have more to choose from, but make sure this is set as your preferred device. If you then go into Properties, and let's see if I can organize this in a way that you can see it easily. So, if we go there, and let's get rid of that for a second. Make that a bit bigger so you can see what we're doing. So, if you look on here, you can see it's picking up your extra buttons and the Z and X. So, let's see, uh, I'll have to have it selected. So, you can see there that's moving one, your throttle, that's moving the other. And then, depending on what buttons you've got configured, you will have uh, some adjustability of the other uh, axis. Now, you don't necessarily need to set these up at first, and this is all dependent on what you have configured in your actual controller. Um, but you can change all the settings of what buttons you want assigned. But basically, just to start off with, you just need your X and Y axis to work. So that's steering and throttle. As long as they're showing up, you're good to go to the next step. So we get off that. And then you want to go to... Let's move that out way for you for a second. Uh, so if you go to vrcworld.com, sign up for a free account. Um, you don't have to do the Trifold membership or anything like that. Just create yourself a login account. Once you're logged in, click on Downloads. It'll bring you to here. Um, I don't see why they do an archive file, because then you've got to download it, right-click on it, Extract to, and so you can just download the Setup EXE. Once you've downloaded that, if you're using Chrome, you'll get a little box down here. In fact, I'll click it, make it easier for you. So it'll basically ask you where you want to download it to. And then you just save it. Doesn't take long to download because it's not a really big file. Uh, but once that's downloaded, you'll then get the option of running it. What we got? We've only got 15 seconds left, so it's not worth cutting this bit out. It's not too long to wait, I should hope. 
But once it's downloaded, you will be able to view it. And two, one, done. Right, so if you click on there, you can either click open and it'll run it, or show in folder. Click show in folder and it will bring it up to a... Uh, it'll basically just open that <laughs> and downloads. So all you have to do is double click on it to run. That'll just go through and install. Uh, once that's installed, you will get on your desktop an icon like... So once that's downloaded, installed, you'll get this icon, double click on it, that'll check for updates, if there is an update it'll download it for you, if you're having problems with the program you can click full check and it'll check all the install, and then you just click start. So again, this is for the free version. There is a whole bunch of cars and tracks you can choose from, which is quite nice. And then if you really do like it, you can choose one at subscriptions. So here we go. First thing you want to do is go into Options, Control Options. From the drop-down menu, choose your controller. So if it's keyboard, keyboard, if it's noble, choose noble. And then you can try and make sure your steering and everything's working. So once you once you're confident they're all working, what I would do the steering exponential to start with is set at, I think it's something, it's either plus or minus 20. Set it back to zero because it feels horrendous. Um, here you've got your option to reverse your throttle and brake or your steering if they are turning the wrong way on the controller. You can also reverse them on the controller. What I would do is do that before progressing to anything else, so make sure that's right. If you click customize, you can change what the actual bindings are um, and all you do on these you click in them and then move the direction or press the button that you want it assigned to um, that's all pretty easy and you can set it back to default um, it's a nice easy way of making sure that you are getting full hundred percent and you can make sure that your throttle and brakes going the right way Most modern PCs will pretty much max out everything you've got on here. Um, the only time I'd say back anything down is if you're running it on a really underpowered laptop. Um, the more work your PC is doing, the less responsive your controller will feel. So if you are suffering from latency input and lagging and stuttering, back some of these settings down. Um, the anti-aliasing and effects, they will hit your graphics card. Um, so you can just go through backing them down. Last ditch attempt, you can also drop the resolution of the game down. Again, just depends on what, what kind of spec system you're running. Um, these smoke effects and that, they will also hit performance, but any reasonable spec PC will run anything. Um, and from, from a basic setup point of view, that's about all you need to do. Any settings you do change, it will save it. Um, track selection, on the free one you've got all these. So let's, uh, let's jump into that one quickly. And then you can choose your car. And if you've got the subscription or the full version, you can use modified, but spec class is fine, just for getting a grip of it. And then you just tell it to load what class you've chose. Um, you can hop into online racing, you can go on to practice, you can set your difficulty and everything. Um, you can even set the uh, weather situation for that site. 
Now I'll leave everything set on easy because I've got to try and use that controller sideways while it's still uh, in view. But um, basically, you, you can recharge your battery. It tells you what you've used. If you're on a nitro, it's your fuel tank. Change your steering angle. Um, you usually knock that up a few. And then it gives you a little countdown as it's doing it. And then you can hop into it. So... So it is pretty realistic and it does take some getting used to. It is an awful lot easier driving this with an actual controller rather than like an Xbox pad or something like that. But it is fun and it will give you a chance to uh, practice while we're on lockdown and you're not allowed out. Stop your game rusty. But it is fun. Uh, online you can have up to 10 cars on the track at once, I believe. As long as whoever's hosting the actual race has got quick enough internet to support um, all 10. I'm surprised I managed to flip that back over. <laughs> but uh, it is fun. Left. 23.16 seconds. If you do fly off at track, you can just press spacebar and that'll pop you back on just like one at Marshalls would at a racing event. Left. Seconds. But you can't you can have full qualifying um if you're hosting a race, you can have practice. You can have pit stops in it if you like. So if you want to host a longer race, you can have pit stops to charge battery or refuel. Left five, 19.71 seconds. And it is quite realistic how the cars behave in air as well. Lap 6, 26.61 seconds. Lap 7, 20.68 seconds. Hopefully that'll be some use to you. And uh, give a few of you something to do while we're on lockdown and we're not allowed out anywhere. So, thanks again for watching WTF RC Cars. If you like, like and subscribe. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. And any comments, leave below.